Ever think about like those drone swarms? We see them all the time now. Yeah. Like in the Ukraine conflict. Yeah. It's kind of mind blowing, right? How do they keep all those drones connected in the middle of a war zone? Right. All that chaos. Well, today we're diving into a company called Regiant. They say they're kinetic mesh networking can do exactly that, maybe even change how wars are fought. Yeah, it's a it's a huge challenge right now in the military. You've got hundreds of drones all needing to talk to each other in real time. Right. And you're in this environment where everyone's trying to jam signals or hack into the system. Oh, for sure. It's reliable communication. It's not just like a bonus in that environment. It's it's a matter of life or death. Absolutely. So Regian's pitch is basically, what if we told you we already solved this? They're saying their tech, it's already being used in these huge, complex environments like 100 square kilometer mines mm -hmm. to keep everything connected. No drop signals, no lag, even when things get crazy. Yeah. And this is where this InstaMesh technology comes in, right? It's, it's designed to be completely different from traditional networks, you know, like following a preset roadmap. But on a battlefield, that roadmap's useless the second things get complicated. So how does InstaMesh handle that? Well, imagine each drone, each device, making split-second decisions about the best way to route information. It's not relying on some fixed plan. Instamesh uses this thing called temporal costing. It's constantly measuring how long it takes data to travel and picks the fastest route. It adapts in real time. Wow. So no more bottlenecks or relying on a single point of failure. They gave this example of a mine using Instamesh. Hundreds of vehicles, sensors, all talking to each other all the time. No fixed towers, no one managing the network. It sounds like like something out of Star Wars. Yeah, it's it's pretty impressive. And for drone warfare, the implications are, well, they're huge. Right. Think about it. A drone swarm that can maintain communication even when some units get jammed or destroyed. Yeah. That kind of resilience, that's a game changer. It's like each drone is part of this larger, constantly adapting network. Yeah. Sharing information, making sure nothing gets lost in the, you know, in the fog of war. Absolutely. And that that brings us to another thing. Security. Oh, yeah, that's going to be huge. Ragent really emphasizes their encryption authentication protocols. They're like digital locks and keys, making mm -hmm. sure only authorized devices can access the network. Because the last thing you want is some some enemy hacker taking over your drone swarm and, and turning it against you. Right, exactly. Talk about a disaster. Yeah, in a military operation, a security breach, it could be catastrophic. Missions could fail. Lives could be lost. Okay, so the tech itself, it sounds incredible, but... Can Ragent actually make it work in a in a real military setting? Right. I mean, they've got experience in demanding fields, but drone warfare, that's a whole other beast. It is. It is. And that's where their track record is really interesting. Yeah, okay. They haven't just popped up out of nowhere. Right. They've been around for, for over 20 years working in industries like mining, oil and gas, uh -huh. where reliability, toughness, that's that's essential. Yeah, those industries, they don't mess around. Mines, oil rigs, those places can really put tech through the ringer. They do. They do. And the fact that Rejant has not just survived, but thrived in those environments for so long, it suggests they know how to build tough, reliable systems. Right. It doesn't guarantee success with the military, of course, but, but it's a good sign. It is. It is. So they've got all this experience, tough environments. But can this, can this Instamesh thing really work in the middle of a firefight? Right. We're talking like dodging bullets and jamming signals, not just keeping a mining truck online. Yeah, it's definitely, it's a step up for sure in terms of complexity. But <laughs> but remember how fast it is. Those milliseconds InstaMesh takes to reroute. Right. That's that's crucial when you've got drones moving that fast close to enemy forces. Yeah, because a delayed signal that could be that could be the difference between dodging a missile or or, you know. Exactly. And it's not just about about one drone surviving, right? Right. Imagine a whole swarm coordinating an attack. They need to be sharing info constantly. Enemy positions, yeah. weapons, 